Hey everyone, Teo here. In this video, I want to tell you the only social media metric that I care about as an artist who uses social media to promote my art. Now, this is just personal opinion, and the advice that I'm giving you is based on my experience of running an art blog since 2009, having close to a quarter million subscribers on YouTube and 27,000 followers on Instagram. So, what's that social media metric? Let me show you. This is my Instagram page. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. So this is where I share my sketches and my art. I don't actually post that regularly on Instagram because it requires a lot of discipline to create art and post your art to share them online regularly. So these are sketches that I have posted that I have created since the very early days. Okay, so that's it. So the social media metric you should care about is the amount of time it takes for you to scroll through the art that you have shared online, the art that you have created over the years, or the amount of time that it takes for you to flip through your portfolio. Don't be distracted by the number of followers or subscribers or likes or comments that you may get, that you may want on social media because the number of likes, comments and followers are the result of the work that you share online. So the more art you create, the more likely it is for your art to get out to reach people. The reason why I'm making this video is because I see too many artists and beginners who are feeling dejected, who feel depressed when they are not able to achieve that imaginary number of likes or followers that they think they should have. Now, personally for me, when I share my artworks online, I don't expect anything in return. In fact, I'm using Instagram just to archive my artworks because it's user-friendly and it's easy to scroll through my art to see what I have created over the months and years. So if I don't get the number of likes or comments or followers, um, personally for me, it's all right. Sometimes the likes may not mean what you think they mean. People can like your art because they like your art or maybe it's just a habit for them to press the button which happens to be there. Or sometimes people just want to be reminded that they have seen your art so they just like your art. If I am to start all over again from scratch from the beginning, I would create art regularly, I would archive my art, I would share my art online. And that is actually the strategy that I have been using for the past 10 to 15 years for my blog and also for this YouTube channel. I don't consider myself to be someone who creates art regularly because I am actually not a full-time artist. I'm a graphic designer and my hobbies are sketching and urban sketching. So comparing myself to some of my artist friends, I actually don't draw that much because I don't rely on selling art to earn a living. But for my artist friends who are selling paintings, who teach art, um, they rely on art to build their career. So for those artists, for them, it's actually even more important to rely on social media to build their brand and also to uh, help them out in the future. Because every little piece of art that you create over the years will come back to help you in the future. Don't be distracted by the popularity of the artist or the number of subscribers that artist has because that is the result of the work that has been created over the years. And this is my YouTube channel. It's going to take much longer for me to scroll to the end of this page because, well, um, I didn't realize that I have created so many videos over the years. I'm showing you this not to show off, but to tell you that if you create content or create art regularly and you accumulate 
all the work that you have created over the years, you will be able to build yourself a portfolio and a very impressive body of work. Another important thing to note is there are many accomplished artists who don't have social media presence because some of the work, some of the art that they create cannot be shared online, such as copyrighted art for animation, shows, movies, or video games, or some artists are just way too busy to share their work online because they are busy creating art. It takes a lot of work to build a strong social media presence online, and it takes a long time to build a brand for yourself online. And by a lot of work, I mean the number of artworks that you have to create, that you have to share online. So if you are just sharing one piece of art each month, at the end of the year, you only have like 12 pieces of art. That may or may not be enough, depending on how consistent you have been sharing your art. If you're sharing your art like once every two to three months, uh, people may not remember your name or your brand that much, and they may start to wonder whether or not you're still making art. How often should you share your art really comes down to personal preference, so you should find a schedule that works for you so that you don't burn yourself out. Personally for me, I like to create a folder for each month and I would throw all the sketches and all the artworks into that folder and at the end of the month, I would share those artworks and sketches with my patrons or maybe on my website or on Instagram. At the end of the month, when I see many artworks in the folder, I will feel very satisfied, way more satisfied compared to the number of likes that I may get when I share those artworks. I don't share my artworks immediately after I create them. I find it easier to just throw all those artworks into this monthly folder and share them at the end of the month. Because it's quite tedious to manage so many social media platforms. My focus is actually on YouTube, my blog, and also my Patreon page. I don't actually share a lot of art on Instagram and on Facebook. Now you may see a lot of artworks earlier that I shared on Instagram. That is actually just a snapshot of all the works that I have shared over the years. It doesn't mean that I am that productive, it actually means that I have shared the artworks consistently over the years because I don't actually share or create art that often. So to conclude, don't focus on the wrong social media metric. Focus on the creation process, focus on creating art. Don't focus on that imaginary number of likes or subscribers that you think you should have because if you cannot achieve those numbers, which are always changing, you're going to feel unhappy for a very long time.